everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today in my recipe, I'm going to show you one of the classic favorites of Italian cuisine, and that's a focaccia bread. It's a bread that has herbs and spices and, and, and flavors and cheese that goes into it, and then it's really quick to make. It just takes about 20 minutes of rising time and about 30 minutes of baking time. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in and I'll show you how to make this really quick and easy focaccia bread. So now let's start making the focaccia bread. And I'm going to be um, doing it straight away into a large mixing bowl. I'm going to be using half and half, half whole wheat flour. And the other half is going to be uh, maida, also known as the all-purpose flour, right? You can use uh, completely whole wheat flour, the bread will just be a little more dense, or completely all-purpose flour and the bread will be just nice and fluffy. I'm going to add in the salt. We're going to add in all the ingredients into this directly. And that's the salt and a tablespoon of yeast. So this is an instant action yeast which doesn't need to be soaked and uh, reacted. And some thyme, I'm sorry this is rosemary, so you can add thyme or uh, rosemary, any other dried herb of your choice. We're also going to add a little bit of oregano into this. Okay. And uh, yes, two more important ingredients are the sun-dried tomatoes and the honey, which I will add after I just give all the dry ingredients a quick mix. Okay. So once the dry ingredients get a quick mix, I'm going to add in the honey and the sun-dried tomatoes and the warm water. Okay, so the bread is extremely simple to make. It's just about, just like you make a roti dough, all you, the only few additions that I added was to uh, add in the herbs and the yeast, right? Because yeast is an important rising agent which helps in um, fermenting the dough. And that's the sun-dried tomatoes. I added the honey and I have some warm water here, which I'm gonna add. And we'll need to make a nice, smooth dough adding little water at a time because uh, the dough will tend to get uh, sticky if you add too much water. We want a nice smooth and a soft dough and not a very stiff and firm dough. If your dough is very stiff then uh, the bread will also be a little stiff and less airy. So I always believe that if the dough is a little more softer then your breads turn out more fluffier. Okay, so I've Look at, look at that, it's just perfect. Now, just to prevent the dough from sticking around, all the dough has come together and the flour has come together beautifully. I'm just going to add in a little bit of olive oil and knead the dough for about four to five minutes until it becomes nice and smooth. Okay, okay now that we've kneaded the dough really well, it's really soft and smooth and it's, uh, and it's just not very sticky at all, it's just perfect. At this stage, I'm going to cover the dough and allow it to rest for about 20 to 30 minutes until it rises just a little bit. Focaccia breads do not need to rise a whole lot, just a little bit, and once it does, we'll be ready to bake it in the oven. So we'll see you after 20 minutes. Now it's been about 25 minutes since the focaccia dough has been rising, and notice that it's risen a little bit, and it's fluffy and puffed up. At this stage, I'm going to take it out of the bowl before that, I'm going to dust some flour on my surface so that it doesn't stick. And take it out of the bowl and dust the bread also in flour. Okay? And at this stage, you can either use a rolling pin or, or you can pat it with your hands. So I like the dough to be, the focaccia bread to be a little thicker, but it's purely your choice of how you like your bread to be. And um, if you like it thin, go ahead and make it thin. If you like it thick, go ahead and make it thick. So that's it. So I've made an oval shape of the bread and um, it's rolled out just perfectly. Okay, and I like that flour at the bottom. It helps not stick to the pan when we are baking it. And now I'm just going to sort of punch in a little bit of holes inside. So it just gives a very rustic feel. And we're going to sprinkle in the cheese. This is Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. So we'll just add in the cheese. And, and then we'll add in the onions. And the onions, we'll just have to press it in a little bit so it just sticks to the bread. You can also add additional uh, ingredients on the top like sliced olives and um, more sun-dried tomatoes and 
like this chopped coarsely pounded black pepper on the top or chili flakes on the top. It's just your choice as to how much more you want to flavor the bread. So that's it. So now I've heated my oven to 230 degrees centigrade. It's preheated and it's been preheating for about um, uh, 15 minutes and it needs to be preheated really well for all breads and uh, it's very important. So I'm now going to transfer this into my baking sheet. Okay, so now that I've done this, I'm going to put this into the oven and bake for about 25 minutes until you notice that the bread has got a nice crust and it's, it's done, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So now the focaccia bread was ready before time. I set the uh, timer for 30 minutes, but it got done in about 20 minutes, right? So because I kept monitoring the oven to make sure that it's uh, not over browning and it's just getting done. So at 20 minutes, I noticed that it was just browned perfectly and beautiful. So I'm gonna do one small thing for you to show how beautiful it looks inside, right? So, and that's the bread for you. So it looks delicious and it's got a nice crispness and it's just beautiful. Look at that. I love the texture of the bread. It's got great flavors of the rosemary and sun-dried tomatoes too. I simply loved making this bread. Didn't you think that the focaccia bread was really simple and easy to make? And it's wholesome too. It's packed with flavors from the rosemary and the herbs and the onions and the sun-dried tomatoes. You must try this recipe in your kitchen. You can serve it for breakfast as a snack or even for parties along with a dip. So when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'm always looking to hear back from you. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.